The movie I am about to review is controversial as it contains extreme graphic exploitation and violence, sexual assault, and the killing of real animals. The director, Ruguro Diodato, faced legal trouble following the release of the film. The movie's graphic and realistic depiction of violence and the killing of real animals led to accusations that the film was a snuff movie, meaning that the deaths depicted were real and it wasn't staged. Diodato was arrested and charged with obscenity and murder. This was due to the fact that the director made the cast sign a contract that they will have to disappear for a year. He ultimately had to bring the crew back into court to prove that the actors were still alive. He was ultimately cleared of the murder charge, but he was charged with animal cruelty and fined for killing animals during the making of the movie. The film was banned in several countries and still remains controversial to this day. It is important to note that the movie's graphic nature and the way it was made have been widely criticized and not recommended to watch. The movie stars Robert Kerman as Professor Harold Monroe, Francesca Ciardi as Faye Daniels, Perry Perconin as Jack Anders, Luca Barbaresci as Mark Damaso, Salvatore Baselli as Chaco, and Carl Gabriel York as Alan Yates. The movie we are talking about is none other than Cannibal Holocaust. The movie came out in 1980. It was one of the first found footage film of the past decade. The plot is about a documentary crew who went missing in the Amazon jungle while filming about the indigenous tribes. A rescue team is sent to find them, where the movie cuts back and forth between the found footage and the footage from the rescue team. The footage is graphic and brutal, depicting the tribe as cannibals who engage in ritualistic killings and violence. I first saw the movie when I was around 10 or 12 years old. I was too young to realize what the film was about, nor were we aware of the controversy surrounding this film. We thought it was just another indigenous tribe type of movie. I decided to rewatch this film again as an adult after finding out about the controversy surrounding this film. And to be honest, it's just as I remembered it, brutal. The movie starts off with the crew departing the dock when they finally arrived, they made their treacherous hike to, to the location of the tribe, only to come to the realization that the tribe were not as friendly as they had hoped. And as you guessed it, the crew weren't well received by the tribe. One thing that made this movie work so well was because of its use of killing real animals. And if you've never butchered game before, then it shows you exactly just how raw and bloody it actually is. This made for a more compelling effect on the viewers due to its raw nature. The tribesmen also did a fantastic job in the brutality against the outsiders, showing no remorse. Furthermore, the movie depicted explicit sexual scenes, which includes nudity and rape. Toward the end of the movie, it seems as if the crew became just as raw and brutal as the tribe themselves, as they even took part in the rape and killing of one of the tribeswomen. To conclude this, if you are a fan of these type of movies, then this film is a must watch. However, if the thought of seeing blood makes you nauseous, then you need to stay away from this movie. This is not for the faint of heart. The acting, direction, and especially the graphical nature of the film were excellent for its time. It's not like how it is today where everything is either CGI'd or the blood and guts just doesn't look real. In Cannibal Holocaust, everything looks and feels extremely real. Part of the reason why there was so much controversy surrounding this film. Now, would I recommend this movie? Yes. If you have the time, it is a movie that should be put on your bucket list. IMDB has this movie rated at a 5.8 out of 10. And Rotten Tomatoes has this movie rated at a tomato, -ma tomato meter at 67% and an audience score of 61%. My personal rating for this movie is a 6 out of 10. Would I watch it again? Probably not. And it's not because of the rating, it's because of the raw and the brutality of the film. Well, that is all for now. 
For more content, please like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Until the next time, this is the One Movie Review Channel. Thank you.